Hello everybody! Hello everyone, welcome back to Linescape's channel. Yeah, so another Monday is here, another creative exercise. Exactly. And we've been really looking forward to this one because, um, yeah, creative Mondays are always kind of cool. Mm -hmm. I like them. And they're always not, they're not only a challenge for us, but also a challenge, I mean, are, they're not only a challenge for you, dear viewers, they're definitely also a challenge for us. Um, that's why we do them, because we want to push ourselves creatively and push ourselves to use that right brain side. And this is what we're going to do today. So we're going to use our right brain hemisphere. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we've been doing these exercises for a while now, so you know they are pretty fun. And uh, today we're going to do also one exci exciting one, a basic one, but still uh, rather important if you ask me. So um, we're going to do something that Gaspar already prepared uh, for, for a pose that he did before. We're going to do the before exercise, then the exercise and the after exercise. What we mean by that is first we're going to do one sketch without an instruction and then comes the instruction part and then we're going to try to redraw the hand based on the knowledge that we just gained. And um, this exercise is also from one of the books that we've been using a lot lately mm -hmm. to push ourselves you know, creatively and um, also, it was very useful for us in our teaching process, you know, learning for us how to teach, which is Betty Edwards' um, drawing on the right side of the brain. Yeah. So this book deals, it's, it's not a new book, but it deals with exercises on how to activate your right brain side. Because we know that, you know, we know that both brain hemispheres are involved in all the exercise and all the tasks that we do, but there are certain tasks that are pre predominantly left-brained and certain tasks that are predominantly right-brained. And when we draw, it's important to draw with our right side, because this is the one that comprehends the image as a whole and doesn't uh, dissect it into its, into its parts. So, um, which means in practice that you actually draw the thing as it is in front of you and you learn mm -hmm. to observe. So definitely if someone wants to dive into that even more you can we can recommend the book um, or you know just keep watching our Creative Monday videos. <laughs> yeah. For everyone who's here for the first time, hello, welcome to Linescape's channel. My name is Sonia and this is Gaspar. We do a lot of videos about creativity and drawing uh, we do interviews and prepare videos on how to start drawing. Yeah, so okay. welcome. And um, now Sonia will tell you just what you need, what you prepare for today's exercise. I will take a look at the comments and you can gladly, you know, ask us whatever uh, you want. We'll do our best uh, to answer and yeah, let me give over to, to you, Sonia. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we've already seen the book. This is what we're going to do, so I can put that to the side as well. What you're going to need is a piece of paper. Take something bigger, like this is a A3 a format. So take like something that, that gives you a lot of space. Um, because it, this, today's exercise will involve a bit of... Uh, intuitive drawing, or how to say. It. So, and the second thing you need are some some pens. Maybe you actually need just one, but I have here a few uh, just to choose from. Something thinner or something more thicker, like a sharpie. Uh, it depends what kind of elements you're gonna draw, and that also depends on your style. So, pens or pencil will suffice as well. All right, so what we basically need from you is like three yeses that you're ready from the live chat. If you're here watching us live, just write yes, and then we will start. And meanwhile, I will send out a heart to Marianne and to Michelle, and because they just, you know, donated something to us. Thank you very much. Um, how are you today? I mean, how good that, that 
this is came to be. I mean, thank you very much. Yeah, thanks a lot for supporting us. So, you know, mm -hmm. as always, we've said this many times, but maybe it's your first time here, so we can say it again. Um, always, um, we appreciate if you liked the video, it helps get out to more people. So, you know, click that thumbs up and share it with friends. And uh, yeah, I hope you get some value out of it. Let's get started. Let's get started. All right. So people are saying yes ready and um, let's do this. Every time when, when we say let we need three yeses, I can imagine like people shouting like yes, 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 I'm ready. Yeah, there are, there are a lot of readies. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. I'm ready as well. Okay. Let's start. Let's do this. So first of all, mm -hmm. We will do a um, drawing of a hand, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And now, to make things a bit challenging, you know, we have to push ourselves, right? Mm -hmm. So you will not have a hand reference, right? So please, if you're right-handed, put your left hand underneath the table so you're not going to watch it, you're not going to look at it or anything. Just take your right hand and uh, take a pencil or pen and you will be drawing with it. Mm -hmm. So in the first step, we will really use our left brain uh -huh. the left brain which when i tell it hand has an image in his head right if i tell you hand if you close your eyes you have an image in your head and now to make it a bit more challenging i want you to draw a hand with a finger pointing at you <laughs> so a gesture of a hand with a finger pointing at you not the whole arm not the whole person just the hand with the finger with the index finger pointing uh -huh. at you. Okay, uh, do we get a time limitation? Yeah, um, yeah, sure. Time limits is always good. So I will give you three minutes to do this. Okay. Is that yeah. okay? Yeah. All right. There is a nice web page that you can open uh, in, in a new link. Uh, I think it's time counter or something similar, uh, just so that you know. All right, time counter. Yeah. So everybody, um, You'll get three minutes. The third one was also nice. We got okay. a no, we got an ouch. Um, so, Tina saying, Gashper, mean that's imaginary perspective. Tina, I know. I picked a very, very hard thing to draw. So, people. Um, okay, I'm, I'm starting. Okay. Three, two, one, and three minutes. Let's see what you come up with. Mwahaha. <laughs> hey. I know it's super hard. Gosh, I know. I know, but it's supposed to be. You know, this is uh we're pushing ourselves here, everyone. So we really <laughs> And so, no cheating, okay? No cheating. Because so, yeah. Gashper is supervising me, so you're not allowed to cheat as well. <laughs> Terry will tell her trick on my brain, says Tina. Ah. So yeah, Tina, I know. So this one is dry, I'm gonna take another one. Alright. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, basically what we're doing now is going to, you know, you're going into your mind's eye and basically imagining the hand as it should be. And this is, this is the task of the left brain. You know, you say hand and left brain mm -hmm. thinks, ah, okay, five fingers, index finger, you know, palm, la la la. So, yeah, quite a challenge. I know. How's it going? Oh, it's going uh, very nicely. I think I can still cheat a bit. Because I can always have a reference from, from the... Oh my god, you're doing really well. Uh, from the other other hand, you know. From which hand? Yeah, from this one. Oh, you're, you're yeah. watching it your hand? I mean, you're automatically watching it because the left side of the brain is constantly searching for solutions. So uh, it's, not so, it's not so dramatic, I must say. Okay. Well, when I did my first hand out of imagination, you know, the one I did, um, the one that Sonia showed you before, I, you know, completely made a, I just made a hilarious, hilarious cartoonish thing. Because hands are in, in themselves already one of the harder things to draw, because we have, because it's such a strong symbol in our head. And we always think, ah, oh, okay, five fingers and a palm, and then that's about it. But we never really observe it. But I don't know how, how this is drawn, you know, this gesture when you're pointing it. I think the hand is enough. You don't need to do the arm. Yeah, the arm, yeah. yeah. That's, that's yeah, the yeah. part that I find yeah, the, very... The, the hand will be enough. Okay, maybe do some dark shadow underneath. That will help as well. All right. And maybe add a finger, yeah. So we have like another um, 
40 seconds. People are in distress, by the way. Really? Um, no. So Come if, on, Lionscapers. <laughs> so if you're watching us live, definitely, you know, use the live chat <laughs> to express your feelings. <laughs> and if you're watching this on replay, um, tell us in the comments below what you thought of the first step of the exercise. How hard is it? How is your hand going? Um, yeah, let me know also now in the chat. I'm really <laughs> interested if you came up with a smart solution like Sonia did. Man, Sonia, this is really... Ah, I mean... I expected it to be, to be, but to be honestly, much worse. What? Yeah. Gasper, you underestimate me. <laughs> Sonia has drawn her share of hands, I guess, in life. Well, I won't drag, but a few, but yeah, a few, a few, a few. Ho, ho, ho. like this. I think this this would be yeah. something. I I mean, I would draw it, probably something like this. Man, from the that's good. memory. This one. Okay, also and I think let me look at the watch. So we are done. Whoa, we are about we're over time. So stop, let the pencils fall, throw them away. You get need to get them later, but this is it. Mm -hmm. Step one, done. So are you done? I mean, you have to be done. Leave your pencils and we will move to step two, <laughs> actually doing the exercise, going from left brain to activating the right brain. Go, go, right side of the brain. Maybe you show it a bit higher so we can see. Yeah, I draw it a bit pretty small. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh -huh. Sonia, hint, uh, do it bigger. All right, so this is... Um, I like it, you know, I just don't know what the thumb is doing, but, uh, yeah, yeah. Well, the time, I, I didn't know, you know, that it's going, if this is, it's pointing like this, mm. right? Mm. Yeah. And I just didn't know, should I put it like this? Yeah, yeah, good, good point. Or is it? It's pretty close. Is it like this? Very good. So people are saying, Sonia is rocking this. This was very challenging. <laughs> I saw you cheating. Who saw who cheating? Me? Cheating? Never! <laughs> Way too hard. Whoa, you nailed it, said Bonnie. Okay, <laughs> so everyone, let's move, let's commence stage two of our experiment. Okay. Which is going to be, in a way, much easier. So you don't have to strain your left brain. You will actually have to quiet it down. It's going to be a bit contemplative, a bit meditative. Mm -hmm. And we will do the following. You will now take your arm that you're not or your hand that you're not drawing with and do this pointy finger gesture toward yourself and put it a bit to the side so you can see it well but not see your pencil or pen drawing on the paper mm, okay so actually i need to do it i mean i have here this gear so for me it's a bit harder so yeah. no excuses for you so the idea is you will draw it now you will trace it out, mm -hmm. try to trace out as many lines as you can without mm -hmm. watching the pencil on the paper. Okay, so without looking down. Without basically. looking down. Rule mm -hmm. one, without looking down. Rule two, without lifting the pen or pencil from the paper. Why is that important? So that you don't focus on the hand and the form of the hand, but really just on the forms and retracing the forms. This is not supposed to look good. This is an exercise that will you know, activate the right brain side. Mm -hmm. So we actually don't want, you know, you to be thinking about lifting the pen or composing the hand. Mm -hmm. Just let the pen flow and don't look at it. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you could also guide us through a drawing meditation, Gasper. I mean, that would be also amazing. <laughs> you explained it so nicely. Okay. Okay. Are you ready? Um, yes, I am. Okay. Let us start. Boom. Okay, so I'm I'm allowed to start. You're just allowed to start. Just let me three minutes. See where. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. So first of all, I notice that you need to be careful where you start. Oh my God, it's so hard because I have here the camera as well. Can you cover somehow the, yeah, yeah. the camera because I think I will something. start cheating. Yeah, don't okay. cheat. No, I I don't want to, but you know how how let, things are. Let Let me cover this up. Okay. It's not that I want to, but... So Sonia cannot see the camera now as well. Um, so basically, yeah, I know it's hard, but it will be hard at the beginning until you really let go and not stress. Try to 
trace out the outlines, all the wrinkles, you know, the nails, um, the shape of the fingertip, you know, the don't and don't think about it as a hand almost. Think about it as a strange alien form, life form maybe, that you're now tracing. All right. Um, Tina is asking if she can squint on one eye. Are you squinting on my eye no. as well? No, I'm not squinting at all. But this is allowed, I would say. Because it's not about now the depth, you know, it's, it doesn't matter. Yeah, maybe squinting will give you like a flat view of your hand. You can squint on one eye. Okay, so I was pretty fast and I think I'm done. Keep uh, going. Now I'm, I just don't know what I'm doing now. At this point I would start adding the details. Yeah, do it. And... Um, do it. Don't even think about them as details. Just think about them as all the many lines and and shapes you see in this in this object before you. So can I also add a shadow or shade? Can yeah. I add shade? You yeah, yeah, trace it out. If you see that there is a form that is darker, then you can try to Fill it out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so you still have like 40 seconds, but the idea is not to finish it. We're just training the observation. Really just <laughs> trace the lines. Don't think about it as a hand. It's so funny. Because of the light, I can also see the tiny, tiny <coughs> hairs on my fingers and... Mm. That's yeah, something I trace that them. you usually don't even notice. Mm -hmm. Okay. But it's not like that I have very strong, hairy uh, hands or something. Of course not. <laughs> <laughs> of course not. Okay. So, wrap it up slowly. And um, now get ready for the surprise when you check out what you have drawn. All right. And let's stop. Ah. Okay. You want to see? Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty good. <laughs> it. I'm. I'm sure it was good, as long as I didn't start adding the textures. When you said I need to go in once again, and add the textures and stuff, that's that's when this this part happened. Yeah, yeah. Because you already lifted the pen and everything. Yeah. yeah. So, um, for everyone who just joined, Sonia just drew a hand without looking on the paper and without lifting the pen, more or less. Um, because this is an exercise that will activate the right side of your brain. And I'm interested how everyone who did this live with us, um, you know, how were you doing? How did your hand turn out? Um, <laughs> did it turn out like a hand? Can you recognize a hand pointing a finger at you in it? Or is it like completely, completely different? Um, so let's look at the comments. Mm. So um, do experienced artists practice this exercise time and again? Um, Asks Rajendra. I mean, um, this is something that probably doesn't even come to mind that you're doing it, but you're doing it automatically. I saw many artists doing something like this before. They were they didn't even look down to see the paper and see the, the lines that they were just tracing and doing. They were just drawing. And for them that's that's like something that's like some sort of extra step, something that they just do very intuitively without even knowing very often, especially if they are like ac academic painters uh that are trying to draw some sort of yeah still life or something something realistic something realistic yeah yeah this is uh this is a state of mind retracing these forms and seeing them as forms and not as you know known objects is a actual state of mind that you want to come into as you know an artist trying to depict something realistically okay um so <laughs> Yeah, we have Louis watching from the dentist's office today. Uh, um, uh, Michelle saying, intriguing. Tina likes what you did. Some weird lines um, saying, um, you know, people saying this turn out and just got some weird lines. And Michelle, it's completely unrecognizable. Um, Collagen 
It doesn't look like a hand at all. Marianne, my index fingers looks like a shark. <laughs> <laughs> so strange results, but definitely much more details. And um, Louis is asking, did you before did you um, before details did you lift your pen uh, like contour? Yeah, well, you did. You lifted your pen in between. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did. Yeah, I did. And this is when this happened. You know, you see that. First of all, the line was at the beginning. I could trace it, and here you can recognize the fingers. And then when I when I finished, I started adding the detail and some shade. And this is when this happened, because I couldn't position it anymore. Yeah. Okay. Now let's go to stage three. Before we come out of this, you know, red, 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 right brain state, which we activated now, mm -hmm. let's go to stage three and let's draw again the hand mm -hmm. where you will be allowed to look at the hand and as well allowed to look at your paper. So I suggest you put your you know, hand in, a, in the same position that you just had with the finger pointing at you, with the index finger pointing at you. Already this, you know, already watching this would be hard um, but we did it in the first step just to show you how you do it completely with the left, bra left brain side without having a reference. Now we're trying to do it completely with the right brain side like mm -hmm. we did it in this exercise in step two. Okay. So I will also give you now three minutes. Mm -hmm. You know, get that hand. Now you have no restrictions. You just have to do your best drawing that hand with a pointed finger at you. Mm -hmm. And one tip, don't recognize it as a hand that would be left brain try to think of it as a form as an mm. interesting alien form okay all right so i will reset the stopwatch everybody get ready and let's draw some hands okay so we are allowed to start right mm -hmm. okay Okay, so Emanuel says, challenging and interesting. Mine looks like my niece's first animal. <laughs> this is, yeah, this is good. Um, Bonnie said, it started works, then it can see mountain, in, look like a mountain instead. Yeah, I can imagine. Um, and Tina scribbled three different blobs that do not resemble a hand. <laughs> so, um, I know it's challenging. But um, this is what we do here on Mondays. We laugh about our mishaps, about everything that we we don't know how to draw it. Because it's not the point that we know how to do it. It the point is to to just be as creative as possible and to challenge yourself. Yes. Okay, so um, I started with uh, with tracing the forms. Mm -hmm. I think I'm gonna be left out of of time. I think I won't have enough time to do it. But my strategy is now completely opposite because I know that I would like to keep the feeling that I that I gained from this left uh, side exercise, and I'm just trying to uh, draw the the areas that I will later on fill with with details. This is good, yeah, well put. You actually draw areas, right? You actually yeah, draw... Yeah. Um, this is a generally a good tip when observing, you know, in drawing hard things like hands and faces. Uh, you actually have to draw areas when you observe. Okay, so I think I, it's time that I can start adding the lines, at least some. I'm gonna start with, you know, with these sausage forms. Yeah, don't call them fingers, call it sausage forms. Yeah, sausage forms. Okay, so what else is here? Juicy? Wow, I love it. Wow, beautiful. <laughs> wow. Beautiful wow. sausage forms. Beautiful sausage forms, yes. True. Okay. And I must say that because I'm doing the sausage forms, I'm not thinking about um, so much about the angles and the shade and the shadow and if if something is right or wrong, because I just know that I need to define as many forms as possible. Mm -hmm. And that encourages me 
more because I'm not obligated to to do it correctly. You know, somehow it's it's much more liberating. Liberating, yeah. Yeah, I tend. To, I think that this is one of the effects of drawing uh, on observing with the right brain hemisphere. You're not obsessed with what you draw and that it has to come up the way you know come out the way you have it in your mind but it's just a form it's just a form and you're just retracing it and maybe you don't you know maybe it's not completely correct but it's good enough okay so um let's slowly bring it to an end no 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 <laughs> yeah i think it's already great no 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 yes. no no i think i would like to draw now a bit more so please let me have it. <laughs> <laughs> you know when you start drawing and then you figure out it's quite fun and then you just don't want to stop. I'm at that po point now where I'm just like, ooh, this is getting interesting. Ooh. I could continue. <laughs> but I have to be strict here no. and stick to the plan. No. So we... Give me free no's. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, community, we can do it. We just need free no's. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, I, I will do a countdown. You know, I already gave you extra time. No, what? That? Really? Yeah, let's do a countdown. I mean, everyone needed a bit of extra okay, time. Okay, come on, Sonia. Okay, let's do this. So, we've got you. 10, 9, 8, 7, Wait, wait, wait. Six, You're going way too five, fast. Way four, too fast. That's three, cheating. That's basically two, cheating. 1, finito. No. <laughs> yes. Wait. We already took it longer than we thought we will. But I think it was worth it. <laughs> people are people are supporting you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh wow. So okay, everybody, you can keep drawing for a couple of minutes. I just had to stop Sonia because it was getting too good. Oh no, you know what? I mean, you need to have fun doing it. Wow, okay. Just... So yeah, show us a bit closer what you did. Uh -huh. I think this turned out amazingly. This is beautiful, amazing. So, um, yeah, if you go through all three, how were the different experiences? Um, well, here, I, uh, it was just like a dream. I, I can say it was like a dream. I was focusing more about the symbol as anything else, like re recalling an old memory. Mm -hmm. That's something that you know, but basically it's familiar, but you don't recognize it so good. And uh, I think what did the trick are the the shades under under the finger. That's what gave it like this feeling that it's like standing up. And this one was of course total chaos, total chaos. Um, but but I got very systematic because I I knew what I needed to do uh, with this tracing and this outline that I created at first, and I focused. I noticed I focused a lot, a lot about on the on the textures and the lines, you know, the everything that gives you that defines your tissue on the hand, like the wrinkles and the the veins and the spots and stuff like that. That's everything what was important here. But you also guided us pretty well. And then the third one, I I was thinking about what was good about the first one and the second one and then, then I just try to combine everything mm -hmm. like okay so I need to consider how I'm gonna start I need to be systematic while doing it the, sh the shade will do the trick at the end because that's something I noticed here from the beginning and um, so yeah that's why I did the outline first first trace the the surfaces or different areas and then edit details so my sausage fingers and then the lines okay. that were emphasizing the, the shade. All right, so we have an interesting question here from Michelle. Like, I'm wondering if anyone else found this very frustrating and not fun. I will try this with the hand in an easier position. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can imagine actually that this is the case because this, especially because we're very much used to drawing or thinking or watching with our left brain side because it makes sense of the world. It deconstructs it into elements. Like what it sees, it says hand, five fingers. And when you try to block that, sometimes it doesn't work always. You know, sometimes you're distracted, sometimes you have to do it over and over. This is something I still cannot do for every subject. 
I think I kind of fall into this right brain state when I'm drawing landscapes, but still not when I draw people or, you know, body parts. So, yeah. Um, this is interesting. So now we're going to go to a, a second exercise. Mm -hmm. And maybe, Michelle, this will be easier um, or harder for some. Um, but it's going to be just a different view. Before that, I will send out a heart. And this goes to Susan. Thank you, Susan. Susan, who uh, supported us with a super chat. So thanks, Susan, so much for the donation. We really, really appreciate it. Yeah, I hope you enjoy the content that we're creating today for you. Yes. Okay. Okay, so yeah, why don't you explain how, what we're going to do in, uh, now in the second step. So for the second step, uh, we decided that we're going to move away from the body parts. And uh, in this uh, channel, we already, on live streams, we did plants before. So we said, okay, plants is also something that we did. So why don't we focus today on the spatial aspect so we, today we would like to draw a room so you're probably sitting somewhere maybe you're on your porch your terrace or balcony maybe Den dentist's office dentist office um or in your living room study i don't know and uh, just focus on one corner of your room for example or if you don't have any corner that's very interesting, maybe you can also focus on on the the shelves or the wall in front of you. Yeah, if you don't have corners in your room, you have an interesting room. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then we want then we demand a photo. Yeah, we demand, totally demand a photo. <laughs> yeah. Um, and in the first try, since we this one we know how it works, right? And maybe since we have a bit less time left, we can start with this one. So let's start depicting or deconstructing or outtracing your room or your view in this technique. So not looking at your paper, but just following the line, following the shape, whatever comes up. Um, and then we're going to try to to do it with the help of just drawing it in a normal way, but with the thoughts or the the help of the hand, uh, the right side exercise that we did before. All right. Yeah. Let's roll. So meanwhile, um, it has been um, decided by the viewers in the live chat that hands are quite hard to draw and that um, distractions such as pancakes being baked next door, uh, which Tina is saying, can be a big distraction as well. And this is not so trivial because when you know when Betty Edwards in her book Drawing on the Right Side of the Brain, when she does these exercises and she um, she recommends them, it's not just like three minutes that we did with the hands. Sometimes an hour, where you really go into this and really shut down all the left brain and you take yeah. away your smartphone and turn it off and you sit alone without any distractions and um, yeah we cannot do that right now because you have to listen to us maybe if we shut up for three minutes it would be weird yeah i mean it's also engagement in chat and yeah uh, we can do something like that yeah maybe one day yeah. if you if you demand we can do that a silent if, video. if you wish we can do a silent silent video yeah but uh, for uh, today's exercise, let's just focus on what we have in front of us. Okay, so you will be drawing a view, a corner of the room. Yeah. And everyone should also pick a view from, from their environment. Don't try to do too much. A corner, you know, soon I said a corner because it has to fit, you know, on a small kind of piece of paper. Yeah. Right? So you yeah. don't do a 360 panorama. Yeah. Don't, don't make it too complicated for yourself. Yeah. Just Decide on one small segment or one element, something that you can draw in the next few minutes. Okay, so how many minutes do we get? Do we have? Well, you're the time master, so you need to tell us. Okay, then you, because this is a bit more complex, you will get four minutes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> is it enough? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, everyone, are you ready? Uh, have you picked your corner? Have you picked your view? We will go first step. Drawing the view without looking down and then second step you will be able to look down and look at your view 
but you know do it from this right brain perspective so let's stretch that right brain a bit more and um, yes people are saying yes so let's go okay and we start hmm. so I'm not sure should I do the this this corner gash or should I do this this view I think both of them are amazing you can do the view uh, because you, yeah you can because do I'm looking at it yeah, our yeah. Planet, right I think that's fine so they will see can you again cover my camera yeah sure okay thank you so that I so that, that I won't uh, receive any comments that I'm cheating cheating, cheating or something Okay, so for everyone, um, we also have one interesting thing coming up, right? Like, um, after a while, we are releasing the first edited and cut video, which is not going to be a live video like we did uh, many times now during the quarantine. We're also, you know, like we promised, we cut back a bit on live streams in order to be able to shoot more videos in compact, compressed form with information for you. And um, this is what we started doing now again. So this week, uh, first of those videos will come out. And as promised, we will be showing you our creative space. So Sonia is now drawing also a corner of that creative space. Um, so this will be, I think, a nice, a nice introduction already, a nice sneak peek in, into that. Uh-huh. <laughs> well, it, it, looks like, it looks like Picasso. Oh. Oh, uh, that's that's a huge compliment. So thank you. Yeah, definitely. You know, when when I was thinking about how should I uh, develop my uh, hand signature, my name signature, um, I looked at the reference. Re I searched for references, and I was inspired by Picasso's signature. Mm. So this is how I. Uh, oh no, I looked. I looked, sorry. Um, this is how I started uh, developing my, my signature. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, Picasso definitely was an amazing drawer. He, yeah. He, it looks like as if he also did these kind of drawings were not looking down, right? It's, uh, it's quite interesting. I don't know, I have to dig into how he did some of his later, later drawings. Can you please just tell us shortly how much time do we still have? So, everyone, um, we still have... Oh, we still have two minutes left. Okay. So, you're quite good. How, is, how are, are the rest of you doing? Um, are there people amongst us that are just watching today? And we heard for some people that they cannot draw, you know, dentist's office and such. Um, and I'm interested, will you try it later? Because the hand was like an object now, and this is spatial drawing, but it has the same effect. So, Sonia is now activating her right brain and just tracing the forms and I totally recommend doing this exercise even if you don't have time now if you're watching on replay uh, yeah draw along I think it's worth it oh I'm left out of space <clears throat> so Tina says I'm peeking to my sketch all the time I'm cheating on myself <laughs> <laughs> yeah well um, kind of cheating. I can I can just tell you one one cheater advice. Um, you can use your finger to orient yourself on the page, so you can to, check to sniff out the lines. To, yeah, maybe uh, it depends how strong are you. Ah, nah, I I looked again. Um, how how strong you uh, press with your with your pen. So people are saying it's too hard not to look. Wow. It is very, very hard. I feel like I'm, um, I, like I'm blind, you know? I'm talking to you and uh, at the same time I'm just doing something, uh, but I'm not allowed to look at Kasper, I'm not to look at, I'm not to look down, so it's so hard. It's very hard. Yeah, this is where really the right brain side comes in and has to deal with the situation. But I'm very excited what is going to come out at the end. So, all right. Um, we are already a couple of seconds over time. So I will just count down from 10. Okay. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Everybody, let your pens fall and time to look at what you did. <laughs> Oh wow! 
So how does your drawing look? How did it turn out? What do you think? Um, did it, you know, does it resemble in any way what you, uh, what you see in front of you? But, I mean, no, but it's amazing. I mean, I like it. It's very organized. Um, look at this. I mean, I, this is the wall. And then from the wall, I traced my line down. And these are the books. And then this is the shelf and book, book again. This is the texture that should be here <clears throat> by the books. So we have here like a small uh, shelf that is just pinned on the other shelf where the material is positioned. Then we have here a camera. I can even recognize the elements. And we have two plants, which is obvious that those are plants and a, bit, a few more shelves. So I, I was not so spacious as I thought because I, I noticed that this was much more intriguing for me than focusing on, on the whole aspect and the whole wall or the addition to that additional corner. But, uh, but it, was, it was good. I like it. All right. So now it's time to do the second part of the exercise, which you are free to look at and free to draw as the way you want. And let's do it right away while that right brain uh, hemisphere is still active. Okay. So um, I will give you now, also, I'll give you a minute more. I'll give you five minutes mm -hmm. to do this. Um, and everyone, are you ready? If you're ready, um, yes. let's, uh, let's just give me a yes or something and then we'll start. Meanwhile, I'll just read some comments. Uh, so Snezman, Snezman, I, I don't know, Snezman, probably, um, if I'm butchering your names, please do correct me. Says no, it's too hard not to look. And Michelle, maybe I've had too much caffeine. Could be. <laughs> and then Marianne, I wonder if this exercise would be easier if I was standing while I am drawing. Good question. I haven't tried. Mm, I don't know. I mean, uh, a very, very good question. Maybe we could do a video on that. We will try. Maybe we can do a creative exercise in, in sitting, laying down, or, you oh, know, yeah. in yeah. the park or in the city, in a cafe, yeah. and stuff like that. Headstand. Yeah. yeah, I like the idea. We need to write it down. Okay. All right, let's start. Three, two, two, one, and go. Go. So, you take the same view and you can now draw it. And it will be interesting to see how it's, uh, you know, how this affected your perceptive skills. So basically, you know, you know what to do. Focus on the forms and don't focus on the objects as they are. Try to think about them as surfaces, forms, blobs, whatever. All right, we have a great tactic here by Ratka on how to not to look. Uh -huh. She posted post-it notes under her eyes. <gasps> Oh, this is so amazing! This is so creative. Do oh. we have any post-its around here? We don't. No, right? no, we need to buy them. Elsa would try it right now. <laughs> amazing. This is quite good. Amazing. Mm -hmm. I like it. This is a good idea. Okay, so then we have. So the right brain, you know, you might think that it's kind of weak and um, right now, and it's hard. Yeah, this, as everything else, requires exercise. This is observation with your right brain side. And I suggest doing it more often. It's like, you know, training. It's basically like training to run. You would run almost every day or learning an instrument. that You would definitely play it every day. So it's the same with this um, observation training. Do it as much as you can. So when you're drawing something, think about it as, you, as if you're drawing forms. And if you're not quite in that mood, then do this quick exercise. Just maybe look at your hand and don't look on the paper and retrace all the lines. This will get you into that state that you want to be in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like it a lot. I mean, um, for this one, it's a bit harder for mm -hmm. me especially because we have uh, a few more elements than, mm -hmm. than before, because mm -hmm. hand was pretty simple and mm -hmm. it's still so, so, you know, tr strange. Sometimes mm -hmm. when you look at human body, you, you think to yourself, wow, this is so amazing. It's almost 
unrecognizable. It could also be an alien or something. Yeah, yeah. Um, and uh, when drawing now so many elements, I have this feeling that everything is recognizable, and I can I can name every element positioned on that shelf, and that's why I'm just like, oh, book, oh, camera, oh, you know, mm -hmm. this and that, and yeah. Um, I need to constantly remind myself, just let it go, just A good idea is also on... to focus on the empty spaces. Yeah. yeah. Focus on the empty spaces. This will also get you into that right brain um, side of thinking. We did this exercise a while back when we focused on drawing the empty spaces between objects. This helps you also think about forms instead of the objects. Mm -hmm. And to also make you draw faster because now you're thinking about uh, how a camera looks and, you know, you dive into details. Yeah. Well, I still try not to because, mm -hmm. as you see, I still try to organize um, organize my my drawing because I still don't have any elements. And five minutes for me, that's that's very insufficient. I mean, who are we joking? <laughs> well, Tina says usually I finish all drawing exercises late. But this one I'm just running through and finishing very soon. So I think this is my brain saying, let's go get this uh, dome as done as soon as possible and snap back to auto mode. <laughs> it could be. Brain is uh, very efficient and very good at being efficient and finds shortcuts uh, for you. Yeah. And uh, yeah, the sooner uh, you know, you're know you done, the sooner you can go to uh, maybe over to the neighbors and trying to ask for some pancakes. Mmm, mm. ooh, pancakes. <laughs> what kind would you like? Like crepe version or would you prefer... Me? Uh, yeah, American version. I'm always, Fluffy. I'm always for... Amer I, I, I like both, but I like American pancakes more than the crepes. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. And uh, for me, it You're depends. more like a crepe person, right? I'm more, more a crepe person because yeah. I always like to eat first... Uh, First one without everything, like plain pancake without any filling or mm -hmm. any other stuff. And of course, we don't have any time left, right? Yeah, well, basically, we're uh, running out of time. So, um, Sonia, I will give you another minute, please. Another minute? L say okay. a minute. Just another minute. Okay. Okay, you can do another minute, everybody. <sighs> Um, yeah, try to finish it just with the rough outlines. Even if you don't go into the details, go into your view and just do the rough outlines that are, you know, characteristic of it. So you get, you kind of cover the whole space, but, uh, you know, you don't detail it out. This will also push you a bit into just thinking and perceiving the forms instead of, instead of the object. Um, all right, so we got people arguing that it's just not the same meal. Pancakes and crepes. Ah, okay. This is true. It's not, you know... It's um, not the same meal. Yeah, the thing is that for us, when you translate pancake, you have also the translation, the same translation for American pancake. It's just one word. Yeah, it's the same word. It's, yeah. it's just the same word. Yeah. So we perceive it as one dish, but it's really not. Yeah. Yeah. It's really not yeah. one dish. Well... I never thought about it. There are two different recipes. Yeah, definitely. This is interesting because when we say like to each other, like, you want pancakes today? We have to always ask, like, yeah. what, you know, which one? one? What American kind? or French? Yeah. Like, oh, okay. I don't know. American. Yeah. Okay. So, everyone, um, we're coming to an end with this exercise. So, I'm interested in how did this one go? I know the hand was very challenging. How did drawing spaces go? How did drawing your corner of the room, your view from the porch or the window go? Um, was it easier than the hand or was it harder? You know, maybe are you already more into this right brain side? But, you know, whatever the outcome is, remember, this is just an exercise. So it's not supposed to look good. It's basically a step on your way to becoming a better observer uh, and a better artist, actually, um, through that. And, um, yeah. Another minute. No, we are done, Sonia. We yeah. are... Actually, it's just two more seconds. No. <laughs> yeah. No. And it's no. done. Oh, no, 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 no. No. I think I co-host this no. channel, so <laughs> I can... That's why you got an extra minute, because you co-host the channel. <laughs> no, it's done. I, I think you have to show us the results. No. No, now you're not looking even. You just... you no, Don't what? use your left brain. Huh? 
right brain. What? The left brain. You this oh, this was just left brain because you know there are books. <laughs> yeah, but that's why I prepared it before. Okay, so show us the result. Okay. All right. I, I, yeah, so that's the first, the, the second, uh, second sketch, my result, which is much more structured. And uh, I'm not sure, are we allowed to finish this or later on, or we need to leave it like this? Whatever you want, because this basically is just an exercise, mm -hmm. so it's completely fine if it's not finished. Okay. So can you show us the first one again as well? Mm -hmm. I like this one better. Or not Picasso. A, I mean, it's amazing. No, yeah, it's yeah? it's quite cool. It's deconstruction. Mm -hmm. Complete. Complete deconstruction, and it looks amazing. So Tina is saying, "Room is easier than hand. It includes perspective, and I'm more uh, I'm more familiar with." True. Um, hand was easier, says Sarah. And uh, Michelle, easier for sure, but I'm trying to draw a corner that has an antique barber chair with the oh. sock monkey sitting on it. Much more enjoyable. Wow, do you have an antique barber chair with a sock monkey on it in your room? This is quite good. It was better, but I think I'll have to train my observation skills. Uh, Sonia, it looks cool. So, um, yeah, I'm glad you like the exercise. Um, Bonio says space is harder if you want to add any tiny details, but hands, but instead, you know, in general, hand was harder. Yeah, I can imagine hands mm -hmm. are very hard in general. And uh, it's also a reason why we picked hands because they are challenging. Mm -hmm. But, you know, if we could also give you final advice, try to use this method. Think about just drawing shapes and forms when you do any kind of drawing or painting. In this way, you will always a bit train your right brain hemisphere. Yeah. Exactly. So, um, let's just take a, take a peek into the schedule. So, Friday, you know, is going to be Feedback Friday, so send us your stuff. And next Monday? We're going to do another creative exercise. We're going to, you know, continue with our journey on pushing ourselves and you <laughs> with us into new creative directions. Um, and also then this week, the video, uh, mm -hmm. our creative space tour is coming out. Yeah, finally. Finally. Yeah. So we will let you know also yeah. on, you know, posts on YouTube, you know, be on a lookout and also on Instagram will tell you when it's out and really interested in what you think. Because we're going to take you around our creative corner. Yeah. And, um, yeah. I mean, I like the way it changes almost every day. So, I think that's a good part. That you that you know that you did something so creatively or so in, in a way that, that it can be very dynamical to use. So, yeah. I hope you'll like it. All right. So, um, I will send out another heart for Tina. And uh, also, thanks a lot for supporting us, as Thank always. You. We love that you're always around, like many of you. And um, for all of you, if you're watching live, thanks for being here. If you're watching on replay, leave us a comment how you like the exercise in general. And do are you interested, this is for everyone now, in you know some specific creativity exercises. Is there an area you would like us to prepare a research for you? And we can do, do that together. Um, we got a nice comment for the first time. I like my drawing. That's like the best comment one can get, right? Wow, amazing. I'm so happy for you, yeah. really. That's, uh, that's the best thing that can happen. Yeah, so um, they notice that we have new images in the background, mm -hmm. uh, new um, photos. Thanks for making my day, says Emmanuel. Now I might go and cook crafts. <laughs> yes. Ooh. And Michelle, I will continue to push myself. Thank you, Sonia and Gashbot and the community. Yeah. Well, thank you, everybody. Thanks for being here. And you know what to do? Keep on trying. And stay creative. See you on Friday. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.